How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a famous artist named Piet Mondrian and his famous artworks. So let's get going. Alright, so welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Mill from The Drawing Mill and uh, we're going to talk about Piet Mondrian. Now Piet Mondrian was a famous abstract artist and I just made an example. Uh, so this one's pretty old, I think from four years ago. And uh, what I did was I made a couple rectangles and squares and they're kind of overlapping and intersecting each other and they're creating another color. So what the idea is, you're going to take these simple shapes and you're going to make them primary colors and when they collide, just like this, or like here, or like here, when they collide, you're going to pretend when you mix primary colors, what do you get? So let's try to do some math first when it comes to color and we'll go from there. So let's just start on the back of this old project over here. And yes, marker does bleed through, always remember that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to make sure that we know what makes what and why. So here are the three primary colors right here. It's red, blue, and yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a yellow square right there. Sorry, red square, <laughs> red square right there, a yellow square right here, and a blue square right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a plus sign and an equal sign. So here's my plus, 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 and then over here, equals, equals, equals. So with that said, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add some of these other primary colors with some other of the colors here. So I'm gonna add a yellow right here. I'm gonna add another yellow right over, actually no, let me add a red over here. And then let me add a blue right here. So what I just did is that I made sure all the primary colors are mixing together and we're going to try to figure out which they equal. So let's start off with yellow plus red. Yellow plus red equals orange. So whenever you see a red block and a yellow block or rectangle colliding, you're going to be coloring in between an orange. The next one is yellow plus blue. It'll equal green. Okay. And last but not least, we have blue plus red. And there's only one more option left, and that's purple, also known as violet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my blank sheet of paper right here, and I'm gonna try to mimic what we did from a project from long ago. So for this Mondrian project, we're gonna copy him by making a variety of shapes. I thought about doing circles, but I think squares is the best route to do. And if you wanna do it in pencil, you can. I'm not going to because it's hard for you to see from far away. So here's my two colliding shapes first. And then if I do that in marker, I'll do this marker instead. It's gonna be a lot easier to see on camera. So that's the only reason why I will be drawing in camera. But for you guys, you guys are allowed to draw in pencil first. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish this off. And then what I want you guys to do is do at least three collisions so basically three shapes that are colliding so here's one one collision right here let's do another overlapping uh, thing over here maybe let's do one right here let's make this one weird looking so that's two so two overlapping sections and let's do a third one right over here and then maybe I'll go like this And then, to finish off your picture, we can do a couple ones that are random, that are just floating around. And it can even be hanging off the paper. Just like that. Alright. Alright, now my paper is nice and full. If you want to do another overlap, that's allowed too. Now, with that said, let's try to do at least a combination of each. That way we know it's on our paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the secondary colors. So the secondary colors are green, violet, also known as purple and orange. I'm going to make sure these go in between where the shapes are colliding. So I'm going to put an orange right here. I'm going to put a violet right over here. And then I'm going to put a green over here. Now since there's no more overlaps, can I use any secondary colors anymore? Answer is no. So we're going to put these secondary colors away. I'll put it in a safe spot. Might as well put it back in the box. There we go. Now we can play the game of color theory. Let's try to figure out how to make these colors by putting the correct colors 
on opposite sides of where they belong. So if I were to make green, if we go back to our little thing right here, it's yellow plus blue. So I can put a yellow and a blue anywhere I want in this section over here. So why don't I put the yellow right on the outside, just like so. And then I can put the blue on this side, just like this. Perfect. Let's try another one. How do we make violet? So over here, on this equation right here, it says blue plus red equals violet. So that means the two colors that we need is red and blue. So let's get going. Why don't we put the red on this side instead? And I know I'm kind of going out of the lines, but it's okay. And then the blue, let's put it down here. All right, we have one more combination to go. We have orange. Orange again is red plus yellow equals orange. So I need to get rid of the blue and get my yellow and start. So let's put the red or the yellow, I should say, let's put it over here. And then we'll put the red on the outside. All right. So basically we've got all the requirements out of the way. All we gotta do now is fill the picture that way it looks more full. So now all you do is take the primary colors and try to fill in the blanks. So what I'm gonna do, maybe I'll put like a blue over here instead, because there's a lot of blue on the bottom of the page. Maybe I'll put, uh, let's see, maybe I'll put the yellow over here. Maybe I'll put a red over here, because there's none on the right side, they're all on the left side. And I have an extra block. This block can be any color I want, but since there's two reds beside there, and the furthest color is blue, I might as well put a blue on this side of the page. There we go. All right. Well, this was a fun project. This is a project based on Piet Mondrian. And here's a bigger version right here. So if you want to do this on a big sheet paper, it's fine. If you want to do it on a normal size paper, that's okay too. Or sketchbook. I would love to see our work. So if you want to submit them to bmill at sd308.org, I'd love to see them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.